So, welcome to February. What I love about this month is it, it's still cold, it's still chilly, it's still fresh, you can still get a good frost, but the daffodils are beginning to peek through, the snowdrops should be out, and it gives you a huge sense of, well, you can, if you notice on the branches, all the little buds are just beginning. The beauty of the winter months is that's when all of the work and the planning in nature gets done, and then in spring, poof, it all comes out. But all of that only happened because of what was going on in winter when everything seemed miserable and dry and nothing was doing. But actually, that's when it all was in the planning stage, which, let's face it, is the most creative bit of all. It's the funniest bit, I think. So, we, as time's gone by, we've all got a little bit more sloppy with our pronunciation. Certainly when I was young, everybody was complaining that we were all going... <laughs> and, but if you look back say 30, 40 years ago, we all spoke much more clearly. And then if you go back another 30, 40 years before that, they spoke very clearly indeed. Um, so now we go, <laughs> there's a lot of vowels in the middle that get a bit difficult. So let's have a little look at how you spell February. We tend to say February, don't we? in the middle because we can't spell it and we can't be bothered to find out so people that do know how to spell they get really sniffy with those of us that aren't and February is one of those well, I don't mind if they want to feel superior because they know where to put an R or something let them do it I'm happy to give them their moment of glory are they expecting me to fall upon my sword maybe in which case they are sadly sadly mistaken it's not going to happen I'm not going to die over this but if you don't want to give them their moment of glory, it's probably worth learning how to spell feb ru -are. feb -ru -are. Happy February. Bye-bye.